should Christians celebrate Christmas? My name is Olusha Gomokolu. This is an ongoing argument whether as Christians we should celebrate Christmas or not. And some people have taken it so serious that they would rather label anybody who has anything to do with Christmas as being on Christian. Some feel that um, it's a disobedience to the word of God because the word of God did not say that we should celebrate Christmas. And that for some, the issue is that Jesus Christ was not born on the 25th of December. So is it right, is it appropriate for a Christian to celebrate Christmas? Somebody even said recently that Christ is not happy because people are celebrating his birthday on a day that was not the day he was born. But what exactly is the position of the scripture on matters like this? Now, first, let's address a few things. When was Jesus born? Nobody knows. I perfectly believe that nobody can pinpoint the day in history that Jesus Christ was born. Nobody knows that day. Now, but... Is there anything wrong if you mark a day to say on this day Christ was born? Now, some people may say, well, there may not be anything wrong with that, but the fact is that the Christmas originated from a pagan religion or from uh, some people who are trying to appease worldliness and so on, and they cook it together. But the issue really is this. Was Jesus born? Yes. Why was Jesus born? To take away our sin. So before you go ahead and begin to argue, where whether Jesus was born on 25th or he was born in March, whether we should celebrate Christmas or we should not celebrate Christmas, the, the first thing you should actually ask yourself is this. The reason for which Christ was born, is that reason fulfilled in your life? Have you been delivered from your sin? The scripture says you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Have you been delivered from worldliness, from carnality, from the flesh, from the sinful nature? Have you been delivered? What is the essence of arguing about the, the birth of Jesus when the purpose of that birth is meaningless over your life? It means that you are just interested in engaging in endless conversation an endless discussion. So the fact is Jesus was born. That, that's what is most important. Number two is that 25th of December may not have been the day Jesus was born, but it's a day we simply celebrate the fact that he was born. We are not celebrating the fact that he was born specifically on the 25th of December, but on the fact that Jesus was born. That's all. Now, when you now even talk about celebrate, what exactly does it mean? Because see, for the people who are into occult, when they talk about celebrating a deity, they go to sacrifice to it. They go to perform religious requirement onto that deity. But that's not what Christmas is about. Now, what exactly do you call celebration? That I wore a cloth on Christmas. Don't I wear clothes any other day? That I eat food on Christmas. Don't I eat food on any other day? That I give gift to somebody. Don't I give gift? That we hold a service where we preach about the purpose of the birth of Jesus and invite men to accept Jesus into their life. What is celebration? Please, what exactly is celebration? Some people may say, well, yes, but there are people who have commercialized it. That, and so what? Because they commercialized it. Now, the Bible, did you know how many printing press has prospered because of the, they printed the Bible? The Bible is the best-selling book of all times. Would you now say, oh, because they have commercialized the Bible, 
which should have nothing to do with the Bible? Is it not commercial presses that are printing the Bible? Don't we buy the Bible? Even if you get a Bible for free, somebody paid for it at a point. So what are you saying? So because people take advantage and they build comm commercial items around the Christmas, in what way has that diminished the fact that Jesus was born to take away our sin? So what exactly is the issue what exactly is the contention what exactly are we celebrating i know an organization that every 25th of december there's no internet they connection right now christians. because you're in airplane mode they mobilize christians from all over the world in different parts of the world rather to go into the interland and win souls as i'm making this video is just two days after the christmas in one city alone, they had over 1,000 souls, one for the kingdom of the Lord. These people will not sit down at home to even eat food. That is their legitimate right. They will go and preach the gospel. They will reach out to the people in need. Now, why they are doing that? You are sitting there and say, hey, why are they celebrating Christmas? You are not winning a single soul. It's not as if you go out on any other day. They take advantage of this day. Brethren, is there any other day in the calendar that impresses on the entire world that a Savior was born, like 25th of Christmas, 25th of December? Is there any other day like that? Whatever you are doing, whatever you believe, whatever you are practicing on the face of the earth, you know very well you will know on any 25th of December that there is somebody called Jesus. That in itself is a powerful testimony. Why are we so blinded by religion that we cannot say the truth? And then we condemn one another. I met somebody who told me and said, did you know Jesus was not born on uh, 25th of December? I said, yes, I know. He said, do you know Jesus was not crucified on a cross? I said, I don't, I'm not sure. I said, but I know he died. I'm sure of that. Whether the tree was crossed or the tree was uh, put together, whatever form it was, I know he died on the tree. And then I now asked him, do you also know why he died? And then we read it in the scripture. And I asked him, is this effective in your life? And I told him, give your life to Jesus. He was evangelizing. In his own mindset, he was preaching the kingdom. And all he was preaching was just to be telling me, arguing with me about the date Jesus was born and the date he was not born and where he died or where he didn't die. The fact is that he died. He rose again for a purpose. That is the crucial thing. You know, and you know, people say, well, the Bible didn't say we should celebrate. I've already explained to you that what you call celebration is nothing. It's the regular thing we've all been doing. We meet, we gather together on different days. If we gather together on 25th of December, what's wrong with that? Why do you celebrate church anniversary? Why do you celebrate your birthday, your wedding anniversary, your retirement? Is there anywhere, any verse in the Bible that says celebrate your retirement, celebrate your birthday, celebrate your child birth, celebrate your, your wedding anniversary? Is there any verse in the Bible that says that? So why are you doing that? But what is wrong if somebody decides and say, I have been in, in service for 65 years, for 70 years. I want to dedicate this day to just thank God. That doesn't mean he doesn't thank God on other days. It has only, that person just feels that that day he wants to dedicate it to the Lord. What's wrong with that? If you read, if you read um, Romans chapter 14, you know, <laughs> you know, when we just speak the Bible and read, you know something will just be clear. What did he say? He said, one man estimate one day above another. Another estimate every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So he didn't make a law to say that, no, we must all esteem every day equal. Somebody like me, for example, I do not see the difference between Sunday and Monday. Some people may believe that Sunday is sacred. 
Sunday is just like any other day for me. I worship God in spirit and in truth. Though I attend service on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, any other day, if Saturday we hold programs. There's no day I cannot attend program. But I worship God in spirit and in truth. We don't worship God on a day. The days of that is past. Today we worship God in spirit and in truth. Because that is what God is seeking. Jesus said, for these are the kind that the Father seeks to worship him. What else do you want? Are you God? The person who gave you a particular day, and he didn't give you that day for worship. He gave you that day for rest. People are confusing things. <laughs> the Sabbath day is not a day of worship. The Sabbath day is a day of rest. What we do as believers born again is to gather together in a place to minister to the Lord and edify one another. We can do that on any day. So people think what we are doing is what they did on Sabbath. No, on Sabbath, they don't, go, they don't hold any church service. You don't get it. Because there was no church. Church only started with the coming of Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 2. There are two different things. So don't let those confuse one another. If I read further, he said, He that regarded the day, regarded it unto the Lord. And he that regarded not the day, to the Lord he does not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not, to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. That's Romans 14, 6 that I just read. Let every man be persuaded. These are not the weightier matters of the kingdom. These are not doctrinal issues that it has to be. The Holy Spirit is a doctrinal issue. There's just one Holy Spirit. One baptism. One faith, one hope. You can't change that. You can't say, well, my own Holy Spirit is different. Those are doctrinal issues. This is not. There are issues that you are. we will never agree. But when you begin to say, the scripture says, we must worship God on a particular day, that becomes a doctrinal issue. But if somebody just feels that this weekend we want to use it to thank God, I may feel that you can thank God any other day. But none of us is, is right or wrong. We should just be persuaded. When people are winning souls. So you think that heavens will reject those souls that are won on the 25th of December. You think those people who gave their life to Christ and there is joy in heaven. You are thinking that God is not happy. You are sitting down there. Hey, are they celebrating Christmas? What are they celebrating? What did you see anybody celebrate? Will I not eat? Even if it wasn't Christmas? Will I not wear clothes? Will I not meet with brethren? If on Christmas day I decide I'm going to come online and do a live video. And I'm going to be sharing about the love of Jesus. What is wrong with that? So because it's Christmas day. Or because it's been designated as Christmas day. Thank God for the word Christ in that Christmas. Anywhere all over the world. Even if you are an atheist and you are a newscaster, you will call Christ that day. That is a powerful testimony to the entire world. If you have time and read this particular passage, Romans chapter 14, it's amazing. Talks about eating, talks about the day, talks about all these issues. Let every man be persuaded. In fact, he concluded by saying that, why are you judging another person? Verse 13 says, let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block and occasion to fall on his brother's way. These are not issues to, to judge yourself. You are, it, it just shows that in your heart, you are just looking for things to condemn because you are not ready to do anything. What are we celebrating? Is it not a powerful testimony to the unbeliever that a savior came and died for this world? 25th of December in itself is a message to the entire world. It's a testimony. It's a witness to everybody on the face of the earth that there was one savior. You can't even say you have not heard. Because on every 25th of December, everybody hears and they are all reminded that a savior came to this world whether he was born exactly on that day or not, it's not, it's non-issue. Non-issue. 
I've never felt Jesus was born on 25th, but I knew he was born. But I, I don't see anything wrong that a day is set aside to remind the world that this Savior was born. Even if that was not the motive of those who started it. We, we are not doing anything idolatrous. Rather than address serious issues like the love of money, the love of this world, homosexuality, adultery, fornication, lying, envy, jealousy, that has filled the heart of many. You are right there saying, oh, they're celebrating Christmas. As if that's what will not make people to enter the kingdom of God. When you read Galatians chapter 5 from verse 19 to 21, what did he say? He said, these are the works of the flesh, adultery, fornication, lavishness, evil speaking, envy, witchcraft, hatred, drunkenness, so many, rivalry, divisions. He says, I warn you as I've warned you before, that they that live like this shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Did you see Christmas there? We are now living weightier matters. People who are telling lies that they cannot spend 24 hours without lying. Some of you are lost in your heart. Some of you have gone through divorce upon divorce despite the fact that Jesus said he hates divorce. No, that's not an issue for you. What is an issue is, why are they celebrating Christmas? You better repent. You better repent and let the death of, Je the death of Jesus fulfill his purpose in your life. He died so that you will not live in sin any longer. If you continue to live in sin, you have not met this Savior. Because his purpose is to deliver you from sin. Are you delivered from your sin? Are you delivered from wickedness, from unrighteousness? Are you delivered? If you are not, today is an opportunity for you. Call upon the name of the Lord. Repent of your sin. Some of you need to go back to your first love. You need to come out of adulterous relationship that you call marriage, which is not marriage. You have left your spouse. You have gone to another person. Jesus says, you are living in adultery. You better repent. You are a young person. You are fornicating here and there. You are saying, why are they celebrating Christmas? You are a liar. You are a thief. Some of you, you are forced document here and there. And you are presenting it all the time. And you are saying, why are they celebrating Christmas? You better repent of your sin. And let the blood of Jesus wash, wash you clean. Let that death become effective upon your life. I plead with you and I persuade you today that you will repent and turn to Jesus. We are not celebrating Christmas. We are standing as living witness that some years ago, a Savior was born for this world. His name is Jesus Christ and is able to save any man from sin and unrighteousness. If you also will call upon him today, you will be saved. My name is Olusia Gumokwolu. In case you have comments, you have questions, please just use the description below. Just go to the description below. You will see my email address, my phone number, and all my social media handles. They are all available. Please feel free to reach out to us. We consider ourselves to be brethren in the Lord, to be on this same journey to eternity where we will reign with Jesus Christ forever. And if you wish, you may want to watch some of our videos also. Our prayer is that we will be one in the body of Christ as Jesus and the Father as they are one. My name once again is Olusha Gumukwolu. God bless you.